All right, for this next video, we're going to take a look at how to do a, um, a, eh, <laughs> a data fusion transformation on our images. So one thing to remember is that now we are dealing with a panchromatic band. So if you haven't resized your panchromatic band, you're going to have to. So this, uh, I have not resized my panchromatic band yet, so I'm going to go to resize. And I don't have it open, so I'm going to say, okay, well, I need to open it because that was um, that was important to do. So this one, I think it's this one. So then we will go to panchromatic. So the panchromatic band is my band 8. And I'm going to hit open. And here it is. So that's okay. So now I've got it loaded in my in that particular folder. So I'm gonna, it says data selection, so I'm going to choose my data that I want to, no, that's resize, I'm like, that doesn't look right. So now we're gonna do pan sharp, no, we are resizing. <laughs> Doing these videos sometimes. All right, so here's my panchromatic, I'm gonna highlight that, hit spatial subset. It says it's not available without a pyramid, that is okay. We are going to use this file anyways because it's Langsat 8. It shows that it's going to show up there. I press OK, and this one is going to be saved as resize. And then this is resize pan 2020. Okay, so there's my panchromatic. Just to give you an idea of the quality of this, so this is what it looks like with the panchromatic band. That is the multispectral. So you can see the significant improvement in spatial information when we do that. So now we're going to do the, the actual pan sharpening because they have to match. They have to be perfectly matched and they have to be um, in the same region. So the in the toolbox, we're going to type, I want you to just type in pan, and you're going to see a bunch of different options that come available. We are going to use the Gram Schmidt pan sh sharpening version. And so for this one, make sure you read the instructions. So this one says select low spatial resolution multiband file. So I'm going to choose my October 2020, and I want it to apply to all of the bands. So I'm going to press OK. And then here I'm supposed to choose the high spatial resolution input band, so select that one and press OK. Now it says sensor unknown. I know that it's a Landsat OLLI, so I'm going to select Landsat 8 OLLI. If you don't know, then you can leave it blank, but it, it'll still work. But I can still say it's a Landsat 8. Then I can click that. I'm going to put this in my transformations. And this is my pan sharpening. For October 2020. I'm going to press save and then OK. It's going to think. It, you're going to see it down in this bottom corner that where it's thinking about what it's doing. And sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to run. So just give it a moment. Because what it has to do is it needs to take that data and it's got to fuse it together. So it's like removing multispectral data, but adding the panchromatic data. So you can imagine thinking back to like the RGB to HSB or even the PCA. That's what this is doing. So now I want to show you the difference between this. So this is the final result. So looking again at this spatial resolution versus that. So you can see this huge improvement in the spatial resolution. Something to keep in mind is that you do not want to do any kind of transformations, like mathematical transformations, after doing a pan sharpening. The pan sharpening is only there for you to improve the way it looks um, after you've done all your transformations. So it's kind of an end transformation that you can apply it to. Um, so that's pan sharpening, and uh, you can do that with Landsat 7 as well. So if I close all of these, clear. 
you don't have to clear it, but I'm just clearing it because I have two different locations. So the Landsat 7, it, the band 7 is a shortwave infrared. It's not actually a panchromatic band. So when I go to load this, I have to resize my Landsat 7 data. So if I go to my folder and I try to find my Landsat 7, So I've got the resize here, but if I go back to my actual data, my raw data, which is in my raw data folder, makes sense. So Landsat 7. In here, I have more bands than that, right? So I can expand this. I see all the way up to 8. So this band 8 is the one that I want. So I'm just going to move this off to the side so you don't see that. I'm going to open my panchromatic band. So that I can find. Find it in here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to find my lens, my eight, B, my B8. I'll open that. So if I do a zoom to extent. There's my whole image. So now I can resize it. And I'm going to resize it based on my Landsat 7 data. So I'm going to hide it like that. Oh no, I'm going to do this one first. So I'm going to select that first. Don't jump ahead. I keep jumping ahead. <laughs> you guys can't do that. And see, I just jumped ahead again. I didn't press what I needed to. So there, then I go to spatial subset. Always press spatial subset in, in the resize. I'm going to load my file, which is that demo. I'm going to see that it highlights that. I press OK. Now I can save it. it helps. This is resize pen seven. Okay, so now those are going to be in the same location. I can remove that. And now I can do the pan sharpener. Type in pan, I think. So I'm going to need low spatial resolution, so it's that one. And then I need the high spatial resolution, which is that one. I know that it's Landsat 7. So there's Landsat ETM. It's the one that I need. And this is going to be size. No, I don't want to resize. I'm going to go to transformation. This one's going to be hand sharpening and SAT 7. Hit save. And OK. And again, it will think. All right, and then now we've got that. So if I zoom to extend here, I'm going to remove this one, but I'm going to open the original. So let's see if we can find a location. That, to optimize linear. So let's go down in this region. There's some stuff going on in there versus this. So this one also needs optimized linear applied to it. Let me highlight that. So if we look at the difference here, so this one actually almost looks like it's better, but if we go down into the city here, we can sort of see it clearing up a little bit. You can definitely tell that the pixels are smaller compared to those. 
you can see the, like an improvement anyways. It doesn't necessarily, this is the old one, so if we put that down at the bottom. This is the old version, and this is the new one. Again, the you notice big differences in the color. Don't get hung up on that. The data values are really not that different. So I can show here. I'm going to turn this on. So the data values are a little bit different, but the reason is because it's replaced it with the panchromatic band, right? So this is the original, and this one is the new one. So it just looks brighter, and that's why it's not showing up as, as green as what it was before. So that is, that's the Landsat 7, how to do it with that, just knowing what your sensor is and making sure that you tell it what sensor, and knowing the difference between the low spatial resolution and the high. And a reminder that you have to resize that panchromatic band in order for this to work.